won the, the Kentucky Derby of swimming. Is that Olympic gold medal? No question about it. The other two events, world record, world champion. Now she's completed that all the way across the board. And when you throw in all those NCAA championships, the greatest breaststroker in history, again, in my opinion, Lily King has done it all in this sport. Again, has the second best time in the world this year in this race. Tess Schouten of the Netherlands about a tenth or so faster than King went in winning the Tier Pro Swim Series title in the 200 breast in Fort Lauderdale back on March 4. Swimming the race like Lily King swims it time and time again. No different here. It really is only one way and it's been pretty successful, don't you think? Swimming it her way, going out for it. What is a little bit unusual here is Jacoby. You know, Jacoby, we talk about coming back on the back half of races, but she's kind of hanging in there, not going out quite like she did in the 100 with Lily King, but she'll be third at the 100 mark. Rod, is really interesting, Lydia Jacoby, again, talking last night after a win of the 100 breast, she's really never trained long course meters a lot, in part because of the lack of 50 meter Olympic sized pools in Alaska growing up. Yeah, when, when she talked about that last night, I understood it, Casey. They don't have a 50 meter pool in, in Alaska. So when you talk, when you train consistently your whole life in yards, she just entered her freshman year in Texas. So I, I think she's going to keep getting better and better, obviously in the 100, but even here in the 200. Right now, though, this is uh, all about Lily King and then Ellent down there in lane number two who had a great year in Texas. Still swimming with her, but I don't know. A good body, body and half length behind Lily King. And I don't see her going by Lily King. Ellent, 21-year-old Texas Longhorn. And runner up the 200-yard breast at the NCAA is trying to better the world champion in the 200 meter breaststroke from Budapest last summer. No, not gonna happen. And King will charge to the wall first victorious here to the delight of the crowd in Westmont. 223.68 seconds the time for Lily King. Again, knifing about five seconds off what she swam earlier today in the prelims. And a, a typical Lily King, 108 plus coming out, going out, 114 plus coming back, comes off the pace. Ellen had a great last 100 to get that second place finish right there. Laser, who was seventh at the 100 mark, way back there is Annie Laser. She ends up getting seventh, I mean, excuse me, third. So she goes from seventh to third. Nice back half for her as usual, but. Look at the distance between herself, the rest of the field, but Allen, watch her. She's gonna have a great summer as well from Germany. We'll see her at the World Championships. But Lily King and this, what is it about this 200 lately, right, Jason? We, we always talk about the 100, but now it's like more of the conversation with her is the 200. What a swim. And Lily is with us. Sorry, Rowdy talked about it. What do you like about this distance of your favorite stroke right now at the 200? Um, I mean, I still don't love it, but <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it's, it's a fun race. It's, it's a race where I get to play around with my strategy a lot more than um, something like the 100 or the 50. So uh, it's fun to be able to do that because that's what keeps me excited about racing. Well, you don't love it, but uh, you're swimming awfully well in it over the last year or so, right? Oh, yeah. I mean, I think being able to consistently go 223s in season is a good sign for, for the end of the summer, and uh, I'm excited. Great job, Tim. Thanks. Willie King doesn't love it, but we like watching <laughs> her swim it because she has changed the dynamic again. That was maybe her third best event, but right now she's pouring it on as the reigning world champion here in the 200 breaststroke. 